All right, all right, ladies, gentlemen, citizens of the Empire, welcome back to Cyberpunk 2077. How you doing? I'm doing great, especially because, like, right after I, uh, after I ended the stream yesterday, I got two calls. One from Frank, the guy from the beginning of the game who we had that quick conversation with. Yeah, it's weird. I don't know why they called back to him, but hey, he's got something for us to do. And also from Judy, so we're going to go see her again today. And I also, I, uh, I drove quite close to it so we could just, uh, have, have some fun and get right into it. And Judy's side quest is also fairly close to here, I believe. So what is it? Is it through here? Because it's, it's taking us through here. The warmth of the corporate lab, that unique thrill of internal power struggles. What? Got a score to settle, is all. Aha! I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. Rats still in the race. Don't you need to be somewhere else? Your piece need oiling? Guitar need tune in, maybe? Mm, I get it, fine. I'm gonna go take a piss. How? You, you, you're not real. You're not, you don't exist. Like, physically. How are you going? Okay, whatever. Hey. Empty? Damn. Hello, V. Man, time flies. You're alive. Inferred death just ain't what it used to be. Key word, inferred. But Abernathy is purging the depth. It purged me, it took my house, accounts, implants, but I'm not done. I'm gonna prove she was wrong about me, shove it down her throat. Ah, so you make your move stepping on me. I'm gonna serve my head up on a silver platter, and you think Abernathy will welcome you back, arms outstretched? That's about the size of it. Now turn, hands on your head, hop to it. Uh... Listen, Frank. I'm nobody to Abernathy. Probably doesn't even know I exist. If she ever knew. You had it in for her, V. We're setting her up. People don't forget shit like that. No. Wasn't me. That was Jenkins' thing. He used me as his tool. So what? Back to the office. Recently fired employee walks in gun in hand. They'll shoot you. Then put me down. Maybe. But CV, the problem is I have nothing to lose. Clearly won't change your mind, but not about to die with you either. Okay, well I guess we're doing this. Come here, boy. Nothing like running into old friends and reminiscing, huh? Ooh. Oh. The golden olden days. Not in the moon, Johnny. Should be. Look at your luck. I mean, could have wound up all jittery oh, like him. Have a nice night, V. I'll be at home. Whatever that means, because again, you don't leave my head. <laughs> Okay, well, back to the car. It was this way, right? Okay, so we're in this. This is her side quest. She didn't really give us much details in the, in the call either, so I'm excited to see what she needs. She seems kind of stressed out. Uh, is this 
sit. Excuse me, excuse me, move. Okay. Welcome back, everybody. I just open the door. Oh, right. Is there an intercom or can I, uh, up? Oh. Oops, oh, she just let us in. In the bathroom. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Bird offs herself to express her undying gratitude to you. Stop talking. I was, I was only gone an hour. Is that? How did this happen? I don't know. I told you. Evie was lying in bed like always when I went out. And I got back to... Fuck. If I would just known, I'd have... It, it's, not, it's not your fault. Don't blame yourself. It won't solve anything. I should have sensed something. That it was off. Stop. Couldn't watch her 24-7. She'd made up her mind. Would have found a way. Always. You checked your pulse? <laughs> She's gone. Gotta do something with her. Don't want any trouble. I'm calling the badges. Can you carry her to the bed? As if that'll change anything. Yeah, I, I need to report an accidental death. North side, Jackson Street. No. No imminent danger. <laughs> Suicide. Tomorrow? No! Today! What part of dead don't you understand? No, she was not pronounced dead by trauma team. If she'd have had coverage, we wouldn't be talking. And fuck you! If you don't want to move your asses, why don't I come down to the precinct and trash it into bits? Now will you come and arrest me, you pussies? Jesus Christ. Fine, I don't give a fuck what you write me up for. <sighs> They'll be here soon. <laughs> Told me to keep her on ice until tomorrow. Can you believe the balls? All things considered, you let them off pretty light. Had it been me, they'd have gotten an earful like nobody's biz. Put something on her. I'd rather she look like a person than a body. Could you wait outside? Sure. Oh my god. Close the door, V. Please. A cig. Didn't know you smoked. Uh, quit. It's been years. But right now I need something besides air in my lungs. Please, V, just one. Fine, here. That was her smoke case. She 
smoked some strange boutique brand. That's heavy. Whenever she pulled on a new face, it was down to the details. A lot of people know the real Evelyn. Who she really was? No. Nobody. I let her down. I thought if I gave her some t space or time, she'd get back on her feet. Stay strong, Judy. Don't let this tear you down. Know what? Let's just not say anything for a minute, okay? Her condition couldn't think about anything else. Tech-wise, she was clean. Dalshard was operational, uncorrupted. So, psychological trauma had to be that. Did some more digging in her virtues, found Woodman. He kept her and had his way with her. The things he did. And once he got bored, he pawned her off. What did Woodman do to her? Did you see it? I wish I could unsee it. I had no idea that guy was such a monster. Saw him as your average Trixie sleazebag. He puts on a convincing facade. I knew him, but I never thought him that sick in the brain. Gotta be something I can do about it. Like what? Don't know yet. Think I'll call Sue's. Thanks, V. Sorry, but uh, I'd rather be alone now. Promise to keep in touch. Sure you don't need anything? No, but sweet of you to ask. Anything comes up, holler on the hollow. <sighs> Jesus Christ! Sex on wheels, what the hell is that? Wait, where's my car? Oh, it's around the back. a side job interesting we lost it's truly wonderful seeing you again hey what's up the city is paralyzed with heavy traffic escalating gang wars in haywood the corporate av catastrophe a trying day for taxi services city one night city can kick you in the ass sometimes true but it can also produce tremendous opportunities like no other place on Earth. Actually like this city. Well, I'm afraid the reasoning required to satisfactorily answer your question falls outside my established parameters. Relax, <laughs> Del. You shared the road enough times for me to know you're not some soulless machine. You... you really think so? Apologies. I must say goodbye. <laughs> you like, hold on. You don't think I'm a piece of shit machine? Thank you, I gotta process that. I love Del. And I'm really glad we got this car. Cause he's just like a companion that we don't get. Cause I'll be honest, I love companions in video games. I really do. I wish it was a more widespread practice. But, uh... Only really for certain open world games. Because, like, most Bethesda games do it. 
Um, I'm trying to think of another game series that does it. I, I really can't place one. I don't know if it's just like me drawing a blank or what. Or is Bethesda Games really the only games that do companions? I wouldn't think so. Oh shit. Missed a turn. Missed a turn. Not get a drive anymore. There's a fast truck point around here. Let's see. Where is it? Right here? Oh, great. Oh, uh, malfunction. Alright, so where is that? Wow, it's actually way down here. I want to see what this is about. Oh, wrong way. Where's it coming from? This way. The corp who manufactured your eyes has evidence. You think you aren't a target for blackmail? You better think hard about that last one, Chumba, and be honest with yourself. Where do you think they get the data sets for the newest brain dances? <laughs> Probably your private right. life. But hey, don't limit your imagination. And then after we sure do know. this, depending on how long it is, they don't want I know the see. rest of her, because she has other there. missions that it's can come in pretty here. quick in succession, sort of like Claire's. Who knows what they might want to hide from you? Oh, hello. Get in the car. Oh wow, okay. So is this just mine? I think this is just mine. Cause I didn't actually read that message. Yeah, it is just mine, that's sweet. What is this called? What, what kind of car is this? I'm gonna fast travel home and sleep. What the hell? No. There we go. I mean, I just really can't believe that's what happened. I mean, I know it's a possibility, because she was not dealing with it well, but... But still, I think it was like wait, sleep, or wait 24 hours to get the next Judy mission. Do I have anything I need to sell? I'm not sure. Very do you. Thought you might want to know. How do you feel? And 
tend to get th uh, thoroughly shit-faced today. Yeah. Yeah, I feel you. And then it's like 12 after that, I think. Well, let's go 13, because why not? Close this. Uh oh. Oh god. Or was it another twenty four? I actually have no clue how long sleeping has you sleep. Like, the game never really tells you how, how long that is. Alright, well, if we have to, uh, sort of, like, go help Takamoto out and get that done before we hear from her, that's fine. Hey, Judy. How are you feeling? Shitty, but something came to me. Gotta give yourself time to grieve, Judy. Experience all its stages. Feel them. Let them play out. Shock, anger, depression. I'd say I'm on anger. I'm gonna stay here for a while, too. I can work with anger. So what did you come up with? The mock's dive. Lizzie's bar used to be a joy house. Tiger Claws killed one girl too many, so people took matters into their own hands. Belongs to us now. Clouds could stand to get the same makeover. Okay, uh, you sure? Sure you've thought this through, Judy? Carefully? <laughs> Haven't thought it through at all. All I know is the mocks didn't turn things around by sitting on their tanned and toned asses doing nothing. Got the mocks to agree to take over Clouds? No, I'm trying to get you. I know someone in Clouds will take our side. Will you help? Yeah, I'll help. Fine. Got me on board. Oh, yes. Okay, so what's the plan? First up, we gotta talk to Michael Maeda. If she's not with us, might as well throw our hands up in the air. Understood. Maiko Maeda? Who is she, exactly? Girl who unofficially runs clouds. Good at it, too. What'd she do officially? She's a doll, so she's a nobody. All right. Evelyn, Maiko, seem to know your way around clouds. They used to work there. Helped them out with their behavioral chip, perfecting it. Why'd you leave? Didn't like the vibe. Please leave. Sure, Maiko's gonna want to join forces? If I was sure, I'd be on the hollow to her and we wouldn't be having this conversation. Understood. Any chance she'll slap us around and shove us out the mega tower window? Of course, sure. Guess I can work with that? How well do you know this, Maiko? Too well. When are we doing this? Early morning. Clouds will be closed. Hardly a soul lurking at that time. How early? Before 8. I'll be by the entrance. Scratch that. The balcony above clouds. We'll sneak in. No one needs to know we're there. On the balcony. Got it. Okay. X Factor. So let's uh let's track that. I've never seen a balcony above clouds, but we'll see.
because this is it right here, isn't it? Also, they don't necessarily like me here, because I caused some trouble way back. <laughs> but uh, we'll, we'll see how that goes. Got a new beat em up quest. CD Projekt Red really loves <laughs> just beating the shit out of people, don't they? Where are we headed? Over there? A weird meeting location. What's in here? Components. Always love those. Oh, she's here already. Hey, V. Thanks for showing. Not a problem. Talking with Michael is like a game of 3D chess. Don't let her derail you. Care to be a bit more specific? Wouldn't mind knowing what to expect. Expect everything. Miss a beat, she'll wrap you around her finger, get you on her agenda while thinking you're the one in control. Hmm. Guess I know the type. All right, tell me anything more about her? Some deets about her could be useful. When I talk to her, don't you think? No. Leave the talking to me. Okay. So, in brief, I'm just here as your hustle, right? Never said that. I just know the woman better. Right, okay. Uh, how you aim to bring her around? How do you aim to get her over to our side? By telling the truth. About Evelyn. What happened and why. Think that'll cut it? No. Have to improvise from there. You seem a bundle of nerves. I have a mind to kill the bastards with my bare hands. So yeah, you could say I'm a teensy bit nervous. Understood. I'm ready. Let's go. Hold on. I'll open it. Like that? No way you cracked it open on your first try. Know how to get around their systems? Appears so. Was hoping they hadn't run any updates since I left. Looks like I was right. <laughs> Easy as pie, yeah. Follow me. Seems we good. Judy Alvarez. I'd say it's great to see you, but I've never been one to lie. Also, I never like surprise parties, but you know. Yup, bet I even know why. Thought you'd hit rock bottom when you joined the mocks. Guess you've managed to stoop even lower now. Consorting with a persona who is very non grata. Yes, V. I mean you. I know. Guess I left a lasting impression. Good. Paid you one visit and you remember me. My job, among other things, is to remember unsavory customers. 
Naturally, I take it upon myself to deal with them, too. Now, how am I to deal with you? Came to Clouds for info. Left with info. All the while, I did my best to make sure no one standing in my way ended up in a garbage bag. Appreciate it. Now, what exactly are you after? Gonna go and harass another doll? Uh, that all you're good at? Blowing hot air? Judy has a proposal about clouds. Wanna come back? Done. Always valued your skills, you know that. Just don't get why you had to drag this loose end in here. Stop treating dolls like meat and I'll consider it. But first things first. Clouds needs to be taken from the Tiger Claws. Okay, look. It's clear what happened to Ev was... traumatic. Huh? I was convinced you didn't know. That girl was asking for an unhappy ending. I was just surprised it took so long. We gotta do something! Or everyone will end up like Evie! Woodman raped her while she was unconscious, then sold her like she was so much scrap. Yeesh, you've always been unstable. Okay, since you seem more reasonable, care to explain what this is about? Judy's idea? Think about it. Could work. Well, well, Jude. See, you found a true and loyal fan. Oh, fuck off. You aware what Woodman did to Evelyn when she was desperate for help? You sit by, let that happen? Tiger Claw bosses rule this place. Know how much I mean to them? About as much as you two and your problems mean to me. Reed is negligible. Does it make you wonder why you even work here? Gonna pretend as if you two weren't ever here. For old time's sake, Judy. Literally moments from now, security's gonna figure out you're here. Got two options. Go out the way you came in, or get thrown out. And that's not a threat or figure of speech. Just a friendly heads up. Had enough. I'm leaving. Smart move. And, so you don't think I'm brushing you off completely, Forrest will be on the maintenance level in a couple minutes. Alone. You picked the wrong side, Michael. I'll be the judge of that. I'm not your enemy here. And I didn't ask for your opinion. <sighs> well, we tried on, on that, so we'll see what else that went. we can do. She totally blew us off. Don't worry, she put on an act. A few days down the line, she'll call and tell you her plan to take over Clouds. As if it were her idea. You might be onto something. <laughs> nope, shit. Need help? Guess not. Yeah. You two have a history? Way back, yeah. I think I just felt lonely. Like everyone in Night City. She was different then. And so was I. Can't trust people that see everything as a numbers game. Line between patting you on the back as their friend and planting a knife in you as their enemy is down to a decimal. I know. Right there with you, I... Well, used to have a big crush on her. Took me a long time to realize who she really was. I see. But still, honest or crooked, we need her. Just think, could've gone diving this morning. A little unwinding do you good. Do me good, too, actually. I wouldn't have been unwinding. Not exactly. Got an idea buzzing in my head, working it, but can't say if it'll amount to anything. What'd you get? Yeah. 
You, a deck chair, and a Mai Tai with a cocktail umbrella. Somehow I don't see it. No. Me and the deck chairs, me mulling over coulda, shoulda, wouldas. Something I avoid right now. Well, please do inform us of the plan once you figure it out. Wait a sec. What about Woodman? Uh... You sure he's gonna be there? You met Michael. That prick still works here. It's cause he follows her orders pretty damn precisely. Right. Uh, what do you want to do with him? Oh. What do you want to do? I want somebody to unload lead into his face till there is no face. Somebody. Fine. Want you to do it. All right. Don't have an ounce of sympathy for that motherfucker. So, we go in there? Damn straight. Let's end him. We'll take the elevator. Quickest way. Maintenance level. Maintenance it is. You know what's worse than a corpo? A wannabe corpo bitch. You mean Michael? Piece of work, that one. But I'll give her credit. She's dead on about your chances of pulling this off. Campaign update. Exit polls have finally been tallied. Incumbent Weldon Holt of the Demolitionist can I just, Party. Can I tell him to fuck off? 27.2% of the vote. His campaign floundered following charges filed against him in a murder investigation of the Fuck you, dude. Yeah, yeah. Where's Maiko? Why'd she fucking call me here? Evelyn's dead. Come here just to tell me that. It's fucking kind of you to remember. Here. Go light a candle. When Evelyn needed help, you reaped her. Could have also broken her neck. Hung up her head like a chandelier till it started to rot. <laughs> Instead, I took her to a ripper. Do a little something in return. She should be grateful. And so should you. Hmm. Here's my token of gratitude. See the little head. You know what? Oh, Jesus Christ! What was that? What happened? And let's just quick save. <laughs> oh, that's what blew up. Fuck you two doing here. Where's Mike? Whenever could have also <laughs> instead, I took her to a ripper. Let's, uh... Now I'm really pissed off! There we go. Let's, uh, let's get out of here. Wait, what did he drop? Off we go. Feel more satisfied. Punch the ground floor. 
to get out of this place. Gotcha. Almost felt like the world would be a better place once you died. And the feeling, it was so fucking strong. World did change, though. All the people he could have hurt, they're all safe now. Think of that. They'll never even know they were in danger. What's going on? It's nothing. Okay, except nothing I can do if you don't do. Oh, he must have landed a couple of hits on me. <laughs> Need a ride home? Gotta get back to Michael with something big. Appealing to her sense of justice wasn't big enough. Michael only works with specifics. For a minute there, thought you were about to call it quits. B, I go for days tuning virtues in a basement. Know what the chances are of somebody blowing my head off down there? Minuscule. Same as Michael's empathy. Unlike you, I don't put myself out there. But this ain't over. Not yet. You know, I'm also partial to specifics. Uh-huh. So that's what matters. How many you'll drop. How much ammo you'll use. How many eddies it'll get you. Art and dreams of freedom can't be everyone's food. Sometimes, you gotta deal with the dirt. So, when now? Gotta think. We need more bodies, that's for sure. I'm gonna talk to the dolls. Okay. I'll call you when I've got something. Sweet. See you later, V. And thanks. I mean, and of course, and specifics are less to do with, you know, how much money is involved and more to do with what I should expect so I don't die. It's a nice car. Look at that. Wrong one. Let's uh, let's give it another. Oh, and also upgrade some stuff. Um, let's see. Does that unlock anything for us? I don't think it did. All right, so what do we want to do? Reduces fall damage. I don't really notice fall damage all like that. It allows you to shoot while sprinting. Sliding and vaulting. Okay. That actually really helps. There's a fixer down there? Oh, wait a minute. We're over by Wakata. Wakako's place. Alright, so. Let's take a look. Maybe do. Yeah, we are over by Wakako's place. Maybe hit some stuff. Is it. Is it down? It is. <sighs> where, where is it at? Do I hear? Oh my god. Yeah. 
grenade. All right, let's uh, let's give it a. Give it that, the good old weight treatment. Alright, nope. And now for the car. I need to learn its name. It's a uh, Turbo VTEC. Oh shit, that was very quick. I decided this was worth looking into, so I got a friend of mine to give me some satellite images of the area of that fungal restoration. So up here, smack dab in the middle of it is a biotechnical black lab. It's not that strange, except that the place is linked up in a big way. Um, do we, let, let's, let's do it one more time, or you know what, we could actually just head home and sleep. Mission towers, set dishes. I don't know what, what triggered, like even a hard but I know our quest with duty is not over. While the comms? Well, I think it's because they're out there building an AI, an AI made of mushrooms. Yeah. I know it sounds crazy, but uh, hey, V wanted to thank you again that for helping us clouds. Don't want to data. think about what could have happened if you hadn't been there. Networks. Anyhow, anywho, uh, I think I might got something to help us. Can't can't go into deeds, but I'll have a couple of days. Okay. Have a <laughs> oh, and have a fabulous day. Talking about revolution. Wait for Judy to call. Okay, uh, let's actually then, if that's the case. At a construction like this, oh Jesus! Of the net watch We're gonna head home because no one wants to end up like EBM. Sleep. But, well, I mean, I, I can't help you with your demand for bagels, but I wish analysis. I could. Net weapon, genetic simulation. So any. But how you doing otherwise, other than demanding bagels and not having any? Okay, we're home. Jesus Christ. Oh, it was a texture. <laughs> it was a texture fuck up. I'm still very unsettled by the fact that we don't have a fridge here. Nor do I know where all these packages came from. You know, I wonder what fills out the stash. I can just straight up buy. Yeah, that's a ripoff. <laughs> they have a vending machine in your apartment instead of a refrigerator. That's insane. I mean, if you want to talk about a, co a corporate dystopia, that's it. I mean, we already got one, but that's even more of one. Why do I always have to spawn naked like that?
Nothing? Oh, it's saving. And we'll, we'll, we'll give it like a couple more hours. Let's go seven, I guess. Wait, what is the database function? I just noticed that. I know it's been there, but. Oh, it just, okay. I should have figured. I don't know why I didn't. Well, let's fuck around and uh, see when she calls us. Yes, I did. Okay. Oh, this one. I always get confused. Spawned up somewhere. Judy, so got a plan? Damn right I do. Come over to mine tonight. Gonna lay the groundwork with Tom and Roxy. They're with us. Michael will be here too. How'd you manage that? Got something really big. Tell you everything tonight. Last thing, what do you like on your pizza? Meat lovers, please. Locust pepperoni, extra cheese. Locust pepperoni and lots of extra cheese. Had a girl. So I'll see you come evening. I'll be there. Of course I'll be there. Please call on me. Because unfortunately in the cyberpunk universe, both in-game and in the tabletop, they're overpowered and they will certainly execute. I think they're also books too. I'm not, uh, I know it started as a tabletop for sure, but I think there are a couple of cyberpunk books. I don't know. Don't quote me on that. But I think they're also extremely overpowered in the books, if there are any. Because you gotta stay consistent. And they're consistently just fucking terrible. We go. Can, can I just? There we go. Oh, wait until evening. Wait, what time is it? It's like 
four in the morning. Hey, thanks for the follow. All right, so evening being it's four in the morning, so let's give it 13 hours or so, 14. Does that, does that count? Ah, shit. Yep. Let the relic malfunction for a second. Oh shit, it's... That's actually getting worse when it does that. It drains my stamina. Alright, call. Can I, can I call? Hey V, come on in. Pizza's getting cold. We're in the kitchen. You made it. Good. Grab a seat. Thank you. This is Roxanne. She's worked at Clouds longer than any of us. How you doing? Hello. Hey, nice to meet you. When I heard what you pulled at Clouds, shit, I so regretted I was off that day. Just eat the free pizza and then we're out of here, okay? Fuck off, Johnny. Were you and Evelyn close? Yeah. Blew up in her face when she showed up back at Clouds. She was supposed to be long gone, the one who got away. But deep in my heart, I was glad to see her back. He likes such a gunk now. I very much do need that stamina, thank you very much. Come here, cuz... You want payback for what happened to her? That's for sure. But I just want to have a normal job, too. No fears, no tears, you know? Uh, um... You'll never get rid of the stench of the corpse. You drop a lot of them, don't you? What's your secret? Subtlety comes naturally to you, doesn't it? Yeah, odd. Given how much work I gotta put into it. By the way, Boris didn't show up for work today. Or yesterday. No shit, I wonder why. Uh, he ain't come back. Probably skip time. Sick, maybe. Or hit the lottery jackpot. Bought himself a ticket to the moon. Hmm, could be anything. Done saying hello to each other? Revolution won't plan itself. I modified the behavioral chip. It can equip any doll with a motor reflex system. In other words, make the doll move and fight like a preem tier solo. Fascinating, isn't it? What one can learn while tuning fake orgasms for the moxes. Mind stepping outside? Can't smoke in here. We'll air it out later. Fine, I'll sit by the window. The body will react as if executing a well-trained series of movements. Already tested it out on top. Chip's impulses supplant any natural reflexes, so it'll make users feel like they're experiencing cyberpsychosis. But it's basically the same as when we activate ourselves for a client. Interesting. Any side effects? Tech that's all pros and no cons. I don't buy it. Side effects. Spill them. Combat mode auto-initiates when a threat is present. And, uh, there's no way to stop it. Can't find a workaround. And that's it? I don't know. Only way to determine that would be through months of testing on a range of subjects. There's an ethical side, too. You can murder someone and not remember a thing. Okay. Solo skills don't lie in just executing movements. There are split-second processes that happen. Logistics, decision-making. Result of years of practice. Doubt your chip's capable of compensating for that. You're probably right. But I don't see another way. Alternatives intensive training, but we don't have time for that. How'd you even come up with it? How did you ever come up with this? Learned how the behavioral chip works at Clouds. Always seemed like they must be pretty easy to modify. I'm surprised I didn't get the idea the moment we walked into Maiko's office. Count yourself lucky. What with all the cams and mics and clouds? Tiger Claws would sooner dig those chips out of the dolls with screwdrivers than let an idea like this run its course. 
All right? Gotta see it to believe it. Finally, someone said it. Tom? Pulled that sequence from a Kung Fu training virtue. All right, show me what you got. Gotta admit, not bad. Yeah, for the market square in Kabuki. Uh, before we start talking serious biz, gonna need to see serious action. You just saw him. I saw a bar trick. I want to see a fight. Got an expert in causing bodily harm among us. I want to see how Tommy handles her. V? All right, fuck it. Just don't mess up my digs, okay? I like it here. It's on now. What the? Oh. You there? Can you hear me? <laughs> Look at me go! You see that? Woo! Nice work, Judy. Gotta do some cardio. I did yourself. If you were to sell that, be the richest Judy in the NUSA. Please. Plenty of killing machines in the world. I don't want to turn more people into them. After this, chips are getting micro nuked. <sighs> happy now? I'm rarely happy. But that was proof enough. Let's get to it then. You've got an elite force of three muscle heads and a techie. What now? Guards and tiger claws in and around will overpower. Take down, disarm, escort them out. Clouds will be ours. Bosses, we'll give an ultimatum. A cut of the proceeds in exchange for never showing their faces at the club again. And having no say in how the club's managed. That's what I thought. A half-baked, insane plan. You can't see more than an inch ahead of you. Taking out the security there won't solve anything. Claws will just send more. Hiromi Sato's the man you gotta get to. Who's that? Hiromi Sato? Who's that? Cloud's real boss. He rarely shows, but you can't so much as sneeze without him finding out. Claws trust him, respect his opinion. He is one of them. We can try to convince him, but it's doubtful. We stand a better chance by injecting him with a dose of fear. Where do we find this Hiromi? At his apartment, H8 Mega Tower, topmost floor. It's a penthouse, almost never steps outside its glass walls. But I'll figure out a way to get us inside. This just might work. If we get him in his apartment where he thinks he's completely safe, bosses will understand what we're looking to demonstrate. My, my, there's a flickering in that skull sponge of yours after all. So how about it, V, Tom, Roxy? Made up your minds? I... I need to think about it. Never wasted anyone before, you know. I'm with it all the way. V? Don't tell me you're seriously con... Count me in, Judy. I already said I'd help, didn't I? Thanks, V. Save the gratitude for later, please. <sighs> I'll set up the meet with Hiromi and let you know. I need a couple days. Have fun. Toodaloo. Michael, hold up. Give us a lift. Only if you don't talk to me. I feel a migraine coming on. Oh, shit. I'm scared, V. Speaking of gratitude, stuff I'm asking you to do will usually come to the price tag, I know. You want to help, I get that. But I'm more than happy to pay your fee in full. Feels like it's only right. Judy, for real? No, don't want to hear it. But uh, 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 not a word. V, everything okay? V, you don't look. Okay. Okay, I'm better. Fine. What the hell, V? You, like, sick? Remember the heist Evelyn hired us for? 
The relic I was gonna club. <sighs> Couldn't forget that in a million years. That biochip? Well, long story short, it had Johnny Silverhand's mind on it. An engram of it that's overriding my mind. You being serious? Truly wish I wasn't. Fuck. Anything at all you can do? One can hope. It's late. You're tired. You can crash on my couch if you want. Sounds great. Thanks. Don't worry about it. Make yourself at home. Oh, holy shit, all right. We're getting right into it, aren't we? Struggle to stand for a little second. Right. Morning, sleepyhead. Had to run, didn't want to wake you, left to some breakfast, eat up. Oh, that's sweet. Leave the building. Oh, she dabbled in robotics. Now that's fucking Shimra. Think that's how she winds down? After a day's work of tuning hardcore smut? Wouldn't be surprised. No. Oh, interesting. Place looks like a fucking antique museum. I guess you should feel right at home. Chick's got taste. Except for one thing. And what's that? The way she looks at you. Don't pretend you haven't noticed. Makes you all mushy inside. I can feel it. Fuck off. He's a di He's such a dick. <laughs> hey, wait. What am I ra waiting for? Go to j Oh! Oh, okay. Um, well then. We'll be back in a second, and we'll continue on with uh, Judy's quest line. So I thank you so much for watching, ladies and gentlemen, citizens of the Empire. And I'll be back in a moment.